today and i got mask right here preparing gloves because i have to get gas so i'm gonna put gloves on at the pump so um, i'm not sure but i got um these um. okay guys so my um tea kettle came in y'all look at my darn nail polish scraping off look at this mess my tea my tea kettle came in my vonique Vo voniki Tea kettle, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, for those who bored and don't have nothing to do, they gonna always be trying to correct stuff. Cause there's a lot of people that's on here that's that's real bored, child. But anyways, this is what the box looks like, and I'm gonna take it out. I've been drinking a lot of teas, guys. So I said, um, it's so crazy. I just got the um, it wasn't. It's like. It looks like inside. I really like this. All my appliances are black. That's why I got a black one. I was going to get like this metallic red thing, but ah. I chose not to get it. Y'all going to see my braggedy blinds in the background because I still haven't got those blinds replaced yet. I'm, I'm going to get them replaced though, for the ones who concerned about it. Ooh, hoo, hoo. But anyways, <laughs> I'm so goofy. But I really like this one, y'all. I really like this. Look at this. That's how the front looks, guys. I just love the way it is. It's so pretty. Most of all my stuff is is um black, like all my appliances. So I wanted to match it up with my appliances. Um the only thing that's white is my the only white appliance I have is my microwave. And I tried to get a black one, but at the time when I was looking for microwaves. Um, don't, the white one was the only one they had and I wanted to hear up and get a microwave but anyways this is what it um, looks like and then it's, this is the features of the products product for for high quality stainless steel whistle indicates when water is boiling practical and stylish handle diffuser disc allows even heat distribution suitable for gas and electric range tops surface easy easy to clean wash before using warning kettle surface may get very hot hot after heat source exposure so you don't want to get it too too hot you don't want to be burning things up but anyways i'm so excited about my little kettle y'all that's what i was talking about in my last vlog what i was so excited about It's so pretty. Oh my Mom. goodness. That is too pretty. Mom, hey guys, so I got a call. I got a haul from Roses and I got a haul from um Win Dixie. So I went to Roses and Win Dixie today, guys. So I got these beefless. I got these beef franks. I have um two of these thick balonies. Yes, but you gotta wait. I got this red baron. Um, cheese dip, um, cheese trio. I have this um, pepperoni pizza, bread baron. I have this DiGiorno meatless sausage supreme. This is like a um, plant-based pizza, and I really wanted to try this plant-based. Um, I have these turkey breasts. I have cheese. I have, I have 10 of these um, hot pockets. Seven of them is turkey pot pie. Let me see my hot pockets. Seven of them is turkey pot pie, and three of them is chicken. I got two of these flounder fillets. They was buy one, get one free. I have this medium cooked shrimp. I have bananas. I have these denim smoothies. Um, they have soaring, soaring strawberry and brave berry. I have grapes with seeds, turkey sausage, medium raw shrimp, Thai 
some chicken nuggets. Another cooked shrimp. I thought I had two raw shrimp in the cooked shrimp, but it's okay. I work with it. I got these fudge rounds. I had have these eight croissants, um, sausage, egg, sausage, and cheese croissants. I have two of these Fairlife milk. I have two of these ragu, um, classic Alfredo. I have this the other flounder. I got two of these Sara Lee white bread. I got two more of the turkey sausage. I have turkey drums, turkey drums, turkey breasts, sausages, guys. I got two of those. Um, you already seen that. These are the pajamas that I got the boys. I kept asking my older two what if they wanted some something they they weren't saying nothing. So I got the babies these pajamas from roses i got this towel for roses i got two towels for roses okay i'm gonna show them the blimpy shoes aaron got those blimpy shoes guys he wants you to see his blimpy shoes tostina rolls i have zebra cakes I have ground turkey there's a three pound container a humidifier fly, flyer with aroma. I really wanted one of these, so I got one. I got these um, chicken hot dogs. Um, ground turkey. These is, it's a five pound, no, a three pound ground turkey. I have these um, um, sa salsas. I got the kids some of these Jimmy D's um, blue um, blueberry biscuits. Sausage. Um, I got two of these um, muffins. Um, Antoine really likes these. I have apples. Um, I got lunch a lunchable. I got another um, one pound and another. Ooh, no, I'm sorry. Another. Another. Um, three pounds. I have. I get it. I got strawberry okay, guys. So I got this one percent milk. I have four tomato, garlic, and onion um, spaghetti sauces. I have two of these straight cut fries. I have this Tyson um, chicken patties. I have this five pound bag of tilapia. I have romaine lettuce, oh. apples. I have this two of these Southern crisp, Southern crispy, um, crispy Southern fish fry, light brown sugar. Got some on this brown sugar, some chocolate brownies. Um, romaine lettuce and that and I have some yellow uh, mustard, olive oil. So, um, I got this this slime play-doh. I have this wallet, y'all. My wallet is so ragged. I'm gonna show y'all how bad my wallet is. Um, I have this 12 pack of rags. I have this cow gum. I have. Here. Okay. I have um this soft roll soap hand soap. Hey, Mom. Mom. I have this um fresh breeze hand soap. Mom. Mom. I have this Mom. Um, candle. My, my go over. Okay. Hi. I have this island escape candle. The boys kept reaching for these cars. Each one of them got a car. I have this zest soap. I already have soap, but I want to make sure I continue to stock up on soap. 
I don't know if I showed you this dish rack I got, guys. Totally kitchen dish rack. I have this Dr. Um, Dr. Tills moisturizing bath and body oil. I have Aaron pick this up, like this little baby combing brush. He wanted this. Here. I got this mop bucket, guys, and Antoine picked up these mentos. Here you go, Antoine. And, guys, the grand finale. I have this wet, dry vacuum cleaner. I really, really need this for my car, guys. I'm tired of going to the um i'm tired of going up to the place getting it vacuum and it says wet dry vacuum double as air pump top hose exhaust port so i really needed this vacuum cleaner because my anthony he makes lots and lots of messes yeah so i got some little seasons today i got me some peach some um some cheese pizza with two pieces of chicken. Guys, I am out here sitting in the car. Um, I here charging my phone because, um, for some reason I had my phone on charger, um, f um, last night and it went in charge, and just annoying. I just had to wait to. Um, my older two woke up so I can come out here and charge my phone and my babies are still asleep they should be asleep for a while but my older two are in the front um, in case they wake up but anyways y'all I'm gonna just be doing a lot of resting y'all um, every chance I get um, homeschooling can be overwhelming but it's that's not what's overwhelming me it's just like I just have a lot of housework that has to be done all the time and cooking and cleaning and you know taking care of my kids physically emotionally and myself it can be it can be overwhelming but i'm not complaining because um i asked god for this a long time ago and to be at to be a stay-at-home mom and he um he gave it to me so i'm not really complaining about it i just have to find a healthy balance of um when i'm when i need to be resting and stuff like that um i got an okay amount of sleep so i'm gonna it's some it's some some sleeping some natural sleeping tea that i'm gonna try um that might help me sleep um I still been having um, anxiety attacks, y'all, um, and it's it happens mostly when I'm driving, and when I feel it, I pull over, and I don't go somewhere where it's where I know it's gonna be like heavy traffic. I always go drive like on back roads because right now I can't drive somewhere where it's heavy traffic, so. If that means that I have to sit there for an hour and wait on trains or whatever, I do that. Because right now, I'm just, like, right now, I'm feeling kind of anxious, like, sitting in this car. Um, right now, I don't really feel good sitting in this car right now. It's just, like, it's just so overwhelming, y'all. I had a lot of things happen to me. Like, I think it's a course of, like, I had so many things happen to me. Like, um, during the summer and stuff. Um, just, it's overwhelming, y'all, sometimes. Um, I just, I'm just always, right now, my thing is, I'm trying to find whatever brings me peace and whatever I whatever sleep I can get I can get um it's you know, I I've been worried about like my son my baby my five year old because he is autistic and um he um they are supposed to be doing place a placement program for him to see 
um what kind of um, classes he can be in because he can't be in regular classes and i just i'm just praying that that goes well and i'm very nervous about that um because i want to keep my baby with me because i don't want nobody to take um advantage of him so i'd rather just take care of my baby you know and it's just a lot like my daughter she's struggling with two subjects in school and that's overwhelming my oldest son he's doing excellent in school not saying my daughter's not really doing i can't say my daughter not doing good in school because she is really giving her best and i have um um this nine weeks we this time we like really gonna buckle down and really get some work done um I just want to conquer this obstacle of not being scared to even drive like a far, a far distance. I want to conquer that. I don't want to just be afraid to, um, I don't want to be afraid to go out into the world. I don't want to be afraid of that. But right now, it's not a good thing for me. Um, I just been staying in the house, um, trying to rest. Today is Sunday, so I'm gonna really try to get some rest. Um, I was gonna go wash clothes today because today is not like a busy day out here, but I really need to sleep because I haven't been able to sleep good. So I have really got a good days or night sleep, and because I've been up just thinking about my situation and I don't want to like be like feeling sorry for myself or nothing like that because I know I can like I can conquer this like um yesterday I was on the phone with one of my friends um I don't even know if she want me to even put her name on this vlog but I was on the phone with one of my friends yesterday while I was driving and she helped me to get to the freaking grocery store yesterday you know that's crazy I had to like breathe like practice breathing exercises driving to the darn grocery store and i don't even want to go to the grocery store for my kids i wish that i can do a delivery service um yeah i wish i could do a delivery service um but shoot i don't even know i got to find out like i don't even think they they were like um send refrigerated stuff to the house that's my thing i got to find out about how that goes um i think walmart i think walmart was sending refrigerated stuff with um if you pay for the walmart services i don't know if you guys know about that comment down below how the walmart delivery service work y'all um my next thing is trying to get a washer and a dryer so I don't really have to leave the house for much. Only to go, like, to where we need to go, like, if we need to go to a store or something, if something run out or whatever. Um, if we run out of anything. But, shoot, most of the time, I mostly order stuff online. I'm just into online things. And then with everything that's going on in the world, I don't want to um, go out there um to any stores and stuff like that i really don't really care to go in much stores i went in the store i w i was so proud of myself that yesterday i was able to go to when dixie yesterday i was able to go to able to go to um what is called the post office the p.o box yesterday and i was able to go to roses so i'm so happy that i was able to go to them three places and all them three places it's like they they close together so for now i really don't really want to go like grocery shopping um i really don't want to go grocery shopping inside the store i want to just do everything online but my thing is for my meats and stuff i would like for that to be delivered too but i got to figure out how that works if you pay the $99 a year for um Wal for Walmart um 
for the Walmart um, thing will that um can you um put can you order the meat or whatever so that's my thing but y'all that's what's up oh i got some stuff for myself yesterday like some spotlight stuff for myself and i can't wait to like use that stuff y'all as soon as i charge this phone i'm going like if the babies are not um, if the babies don't follow this, if the babies wake up, I'm going to get them something and just lay down. But I know I'm not going to be able to go to sleep while they up. Um, but if they, if, if my phone charge, um, in time enough, um, I'm going to try to get me a little nap in or something, child. I'm definitely going to try to get a little nap or something in, but I'm, I'm be okay. This too shall pass. Um, that's all I'm gonna say is this too shall pass because it's gonna work out um for us. Um it's gonna work out for us. Everything gonna work out and I'm gonna get to that place. Oh look at that sunlight, y'all. Look at that beauty. That sunlight is so beautiful, y'all. I just really love that beautiful sunlight. It's so beautiful. I see this cat in the middle of the street. And that just reminds me of my mom, because my mom loves cats. Um, I don't know. Every time I um like, every time like, even the thought of my um mom just make me smile because she always she always try to bring like be she always have like positive energy and stuff. She always like to be she always like happy and smiling. Mm. Yeah. These uh look at that darn I seen that darn cat. My mom love cats, y'all. She love cats. <laughs> and that cat just over there just bathing itself. It's so funny. I was laughing cause the kids I'm looking at the neighbor across the street on um, garbage can because the kids was telling me about a mannequin um in the garbage can. And I said they probably are using the mannequin to um to do um they probably using the man mannequin to practice doing hair or whatever. And I'm looking across the street and I see the mannequin in the garbage can. I'm gonna put that um I'm gonna get my son to put that trash out um today because our trash come Tuesday and today Sunday and like I do not wanna miss the trash can. I remember that that I remember that morning. I missed the darn, I almost missed the darn trash man. The trash man seen me running out there um to bring my um they seen me running at, running to the street to bring my trash out there. And they was so nice. They um came in my yard, came all the way to my yard and helped me take the stuff out to the trash thing. They was like, Don't don't take anything. You don't have to take anything else out. Just come back to get your trash cans. They even emptied my darn recycle my recycle recycle bin. So that was so nice of them. I was so thankful for that. That's that's something that I never forget. It's stuff like that that I never forget. It's small things that I just never forget, y'all. Um, I'm just so grateful just for so much, y'all. I just sit here and just think about all the stuff I'm grateful for all the time because God has brought me and my family a long way, like a very long way. And I'm just so thankful for the place that me and my family are in right now right now it's just i'm just feeling some days i just feel overwhelmed and it's just how i feel some days but i just can't go a day without my baby so that's why i uh, <laughs> i just can't go a day without them so if i don't see them then it just will just tear me up so i like being around them 24 7 they just amaze me the stuff that they say and the stuff that they learning that they're learning all of them and just being with them on a day-to-day -day basis is just a blessing because a long time ago i asked god like um i was at a job for like 11 years and i really loved that job like i i really like it was hard i was working for my uncle at first and then my uncle closed and then after that, I tried to really like find out what I really wanted to do and what I really wanted to be. And 
it was a really hard transition for me. And um, I was praying and praying and praying and praying and praying. And I went and I, um, one day I, I had applied for Walmart and I had one interview and they didn't call me back for a second interview. So I know I would, I, I wasn't going to get that job. And then I applied for this other place that my mom worked at. And then I also applied, um, then my mama started working at this other, um, she started working at, um, Beaver Street Fisheries. And then, um, she told me to, how to go apply for it or whatever. And I, um, put in my application and stuff. And I was so happy. I started working there. Um, and I really loved that job. And then things happened at that job. Um, a sexual harassment case. Um, I had, um, reported somebody for sexual harassment. Um, one of my bosses and um it's like things changed after that like um things got harder for me like um after that like it was hard for me for the transition from what I had went through at that job but anyways it still was a good company to work right? like I still like the company that I work for um, to me, um, I probably would have still been there, um, if I would have, like, it's just a long story. I probably would have still been there. I'll tell that story in another vlog, um, if you guys want to hear about it. I'll tell that story in, in another vlog. But anyways, I lost my job there when I was pregnant with my son, my last son, Aaron. And when I was, when I was, like... When I stopped working there, um, I started being a stay-at-home mom because of my fiance and my kid's father. And um, he was telling me he was telling me a long time ago when my other two kids, um, when my other two kids was um, like one and two years old about YouTube, and I never, I always, I made a YouTube channel, but I never like put anything on there but the first year like the first year that I was a stay-at-home mom I put out a video of my kids doing something for um of my kids doing um pumpkin cookies for Halloween and I'm gonna find that video because that's my very first video here and I'm gonna try to put that down below in the um, description box if I can find video if I can find um that video but, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, if I can find a video, this video is going to be so long. And the, and the longest part going to probably be this part of me talking. If y'all still be here when I'm doing all this thing on talking. But anyways, um, I started being a stay-at-home mom. And, um, I just really fell in love with being one. I had prayed and asked God for that because when I remember when I was at my old job, I used to go to this window and I used to see like all the cars go by on the bridge. It was such a beautiful view. If I could find, if I can go where my old job is and show you guys the view that I used to look at. Oh my gosh. Like I would just sit there and just think about like being home with my kids and take care of my kids. And God has finally did that for me. But I have to find a balance in it, in all of this because I really love doing this. Y'all, I, I know I was made to do this like a lot of people don't see like being a stay at home mom as like a a big accomplishment and it can be um i i believe like long term this is going to be something great for my kids because they're going to get that they're getting this one-on-one -on -one time with me that we can't that it's not that's not that we're not going to be able to get back so that's what i'm just grateful for and y'all like this has been a it's been a it's been a hard journey, but at the same time, it's been a blessing to be here with my kids because nobody's going to love your kids like you love your kids. So, you know, if you get the opportunity to do, like, be a stay-at-home mom, 
um it's worth it that's all i can say and right now i'm going to just continue to find ways to cope with this um these anxiety attacks because i want to be healthy for my kids i even um i'm even starting by the way that i am eating i'm eating like a lot different and um i haven't been i used to drink water like 24 7 like all the time and now all of a sudden now like i, I found out like anxiety can come from like dehydration and stuff so i've been drinking water a lot of water and stuff and i've been trying to find stuff with b12 any i've been trying to find all kind of stuff um but yeah i'm gonna get i'm gonna do what needs all the things that's necessary to take care of myself because if i don't take care of myself y'all i can't take care of my kids and that ain't that's not an option because i'm gonna take care of them like they i thank god for them they are uh, real like when people say kids are a gift they really are a gift they are a gift from god y'all and i'm not even exaggerating i don't care how crazy they drive me i don't care how much i fuss and i don't care they are the best thing besides my family um that has happened to me and i thank god just thank god for them they just oh my god they just fill my heart up and i just can't thank god enough for them you know and i'm just gonna i'm gonna be the best mom that i can possibly be for them i will always pour a lot into my kids but i know i gotta pour a lot more into myself so that i can do that for them okay anyways this is the end of this video guys um because i didn't talk for so long i can't believe how long i've been in here talking i'm not even gonna say because but some of y'all say y'all like these long vlogs anyways um don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video out and um i'm just gonna be resting for the rest of this day i'm not gonna be like trying to be on the phone today um i'm gonna put this video out and i'm gonna promote my video and after that i'm gonna be resting and probably during the week i'll be catching up with people videos and stuff um in my free time and resting in my free time just finding ways to you know have self self-care time and I will, you know, I'm not, um, I have to find a balance in self-care. I'm not on here to ask nobody for help or anything like that. Um, you know, taking care of, um, you know, helping me with my kids. God give me strength to take care of my kids. And I have to, cause at the end of the day, people can come and help you with your kids, but you still have to find time, um, to, you know take care of your kids yourself and then with everything going on right now it's not good to have people coming to get your kids but i'm not saying being against anybody not talking against anybody or none of that so don't think that oh she too good she think um she too good to have our kids her kids around such a such. no that's not what i'm saying but anyways i love you guys like share this video out right, guys share 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 and comment down below help assist out on what i can do about um you know anxiety and and stuff like that but anyways um i'll talk to you in the next vlog y'all i love you guys and god bless you guys all and have